Kubernetes operators are a good option to manage applications with complex configuration. In this video, I'll show you a complete demonstration on how to use the logging operator in order to install an Elasticsearch cluster and Kibana in order to collect logs from our cluster. The objective here is to create the logging system for the cluster. The logging operator will go to create the different instances of FluentBit and FluentD. FluentBit will go to collect the logs from the applications and then send those logs to FluentD. FluentD in its turn will also send those logs to different sources and that include Elasticsearch that we'll be using today and we'll install it through an operator. So in our demo today, we'll be installing two operators, one for managing FluentD and FluentBit, and a second operator which will be managing Elasticsearch, and with that operator, we'll be adding also a Kibana instance. There are many options for deploying an operator into Kubernetes. We can either use the native Kubernetes YAML files, or we can use Helm charts, and we can also use the kudo project, which defines some operators available in here. Another option could be using the operator hub, which is a project supported by Red Hat. And this one defines actually more than 150 operators today. These different operators could be installed into the cluster through using the operator lifecycle manager or the OLM. This one will be responsible for installing, upgrading, and deleting the operators from the cluster. We can install those. So if we go to check, for example, the logging operator from here, we can go to click on the install button. And this will give us the different commands that we need in order to install the OLM and then install the operator. And the same is applicable for the Elastic Cloud on Kubernetes or the ECK. Both operators are available as open source projects on GitHub. Here we have the one for ECK and here we have the one for the logging operator. In this demo, we'll be using the command line in order to run some commands. So here I made available those commands onto this uh, uh, GitHub repository. So you would have all the commands and then you would have some uh, references to the resources that we have used today. The different steps for this demonstration are the following. First, we'll go to install the OLM, the Operator Lifecycle Management. Then we'll install the ACK operator. We'll install the Elasticsearch cluster. After that, we'll install Kibana as part of the ACK. And then we'll go to install the logging operator. Then we'll install a demo application and we'll try to access the Kibana dashboard to see a few logs coming from the application. Let me first grab the first command here, which is cube control apply. Let's first start by installing the OLM. So I'll copy those two commands right here, and then I'll use them from my command line. I'm already connected to my cluster. And here, those two commands, first they will start by creating the different CRDs or the common resource definition, then they will create the Kubernetes objects that uses those CRDs in order to complete the install of OLM. Once that's done, now if we try kube control get OLM dash A, capital A, that means all namespaces. From here, we can get uh, the OLM and the operators namespaces. And to there, we have the operators already referencing the operator hub catalog. And now let's go to install the Elasticsearch operator. So for that, I'll, use, I'll be using the kube control apply command. And here I'll be using this file that contains all the objects needed in order to install the ECK operator into my cluster. That will go to create some CRDs in addition to the Elastic system namespace. And then it will create the other secrets in order to save the passwords and so on. It's actually a good practice to put the logging stack into a separate namespace. So for that, I'll be creating another namespace that I'll call it logging. So actually what we have created until now is the operator itself, not the cluster. To create the cluster, I'll go back to the commands that I have here. And we need here to use instances of type Elasticsearch in order to create the uh, full Elasticsearch uh, cluster that contains the Elasticsearch different uh, uh, pods. 
I mean the master data ingest and so on and also to create the Kibana dashboard and depending whether you are using PowerShell or Bash you can choose here the right command to do that for my case I'll be relying on uh, PowerShell in this case so I'll copy this one here And then I'll go to create this instance of the uh, Elasticsearch. This one will use Elasticsearch v7.5. Uh, it, will, it will create just uh, uh, one instance for configuring the master data and so on. Once Elasticsearch is created, now I'll go to create the same way. I'll create Kibana instance. Great, now Elasticsearch and Kibana are already deployed. Now let's uh, complete by deploying the logging operator that will create both instances of FluentD and FluentBit. For that, I'll be using Helm charts here. So first I'll start by adding the Helm repository in my local machine. Then I'll install that operator into the logging namespace. Let's take a look at the content uh, or at the pods inside the logging uh, uh, namespace. And here we'll find different instances of uh, logging and uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana and the operator. Now our stack is ready so let's go to deploy a sample application for that I'll be using a Helm chart into, in order to deploy this uh, sample app and there I set the flag Elasticsearch enabled to true so this uh, app will read that flag and it will try to uh, generate some uh, logs that will be collected by FluentD. Now if, I, if we go again to check the, log, the pods created into the logging namespace, we'll find that here we have FluentBit, FluentD, the log generator, the demo app, and we also have the Elasticsearch and Kibana dashboard and the operator already uh, deployed. Now if we try to get the services from within that same namespace, We'll see here a server a service called Quick Start KB for Kibana HTTP. This one is the one that exposes the Kibana dashboard. So we want to connect into that uh, Kibana dashboard. And here I'll be using the port forward in Kubernetes. So I'll run this command to run port forward for that service into the port 5601. So if I go to localhost with that port number, from here, it tells me, hey, that's uh, valid, but I'll go to continue to localhost. And here we get to connect to the Kibana dashboard. So we need here the username and the password. The username by default is Elastic, but the password is actually available into a secret in the Kubernetes cluster. From a bash command line, I'll be using this uh, command cube control get secret. Then I'll decode the content of that uh, uh, secret for the elastic user uh, password. And here the plain text for that uh, uh, password. I'll copy it and then I'll use it in my to connect to my Kibana instance. Hit login. And finally here we get access to the Kibana dashboard where we can uh, look for the logs for the application. And that was how to use Kubernetes operators in order to install a logging stack that uses Elasticsearch and FluentD.